Check one, two, check one, two. Can you hear the king of YouTube? Can you hear the king of YouTube? Press seven if you can. Press, press, let me say, press seven if you can hear the king of YouTube. Turtle Gang, are you back? Are you back? You now, now you didn't ran away and now you didn't came back. What you come back here for, cousin? <laughs> Y'all know that's my cousin. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. He 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 he, he indigenous. Uh, I'm Moorish, and that's my cousin. And and and, 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 and hey, 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 what's going on? I mean, where you been at? I need to know. <laughs> they said, I apologize, family. I apologize. My five minutes. Hold on one second. I still got one more second. I got to give me some water. Check one, two. Can you hear me? As long as you can hear me. Yeah, me, fam, this is going to be a pretty good one. I can't even get everybody in here. So I got to tell you about some of this stuff. I can't really get everybody in here. It, 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 it'll be all night. You know what I mean? It will. It, it will be all night. I'm still looking for stuff that I, I thought I had it all filed together, but I guess I didn't. <laughs> I guess I didn't. You know what I mean? Oh, I think I um, yeah, like like Billy Carson, he sent me a a a, a, a email to cease and desist, and he gonna sue me. And I mean, I, it's a lot of stuff. You know what I mean? It's a lot of stuff that I was unable to find. You know what I mean, <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> anyway, family, y'all ready? Let me play my job. Track one, two. He's back. They mad. He back. And they mad. Check one, two. Can you hear me? How do I sound? How do I sound? Is Kryptonomics in the building? I see Sean Sean in the building. I need to know how I sound. How do I sound? Come on now. Hey, Turtle Gang in the building. Turtle Gang, we got African drums up in here. 
my slang boom bang like African drums. <laughs> yes, indeed. Come on. Let me tell you. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! What it do, family? You miss got you, miss got you. Oh, yeah, I want to be your friend. Hey! Hey! It will never, and you ain't never, and you ain't never, ever, ever. Crypto! Let me see, y'all can't hear the music. I got music. Y'all can't hear the music. Oh, y'all can't hear music. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Y'all can't hear music. I hear music in my ear. Y'all can't hear the music. <laughs> hold up. No. Y'all tripping. <laughs> no, y'all tripping now. Y'all tripping. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. Sorry about that. <laughs> Family, I hear music right here. <laughs> oh, man, you playing. You kidding me? <laughs> I'll be a monkey's uncle and a junkie's friend. I'm in this demonstration partying. <laughs> I must have had a little taste of that doodle stick that Minkari smoke on. Good goodness of gracious. I must have had a taste of that doo-doo stick. <laughs> Look at that demonstration. Good night. I didn't got me a, a contact by editing the videos. Oh, man. I be dug on it. Man, this is not right. This is not right. <laughs> I did <didn't, laughs> This is insane. This is insane for real. I'm trying to tell you. Woo. Uh, uh, uh. This is insane. <laughs> I didn't really. Man, you got to stop. Oh, my goodness, man. <laughs> you for real? <laughs> you for real? <laughs> this is insane. This is insane. Man, I got to play. I got to play one of these jokes, man. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> oh, my God, man. Let me see something. This is insane, man. I really. Oh, man. Let me see if I can find me a song, man. Oh, man. This is. I, I'm embarrassed. I was grooving and moving. Family, but this is gonna be a good show. Good night. Let me see. Let me see if I can pull one up then. Aim. Let's try this one. Let's try this one. Let's try it. He says to Harker Bay. Start the show tonight, Toronto it? Johnson. Hmm? I'll call yeah. for a Moore's court on Brother Toronto Johnson. And anybody who's was trying to get him out of bed. With this scandal. Like, anyone get up. With these videos. <laughs> Of me and my wife the the people. Check it. I never saw my brothers and sisters serving these packages when I was with Dawid Ali and them and Taj and them used to come to Chicago. Uh, uh, I laid them old boys to rest. They was dead sleep anyway. Sleep walking. They keep talking. I probably kept the charge and they don't care what any say. Nobody. Yeah, I'm the people's grand sheep and the people's grand sheep came to see the man I can't be. Only the gods is my equal. You mortals, you just my sequel. You just my sequel. What the 85ers? Dip, dip, divers. Trying to sell the lavas. You already did. Who they got up in your head? Rent free. You wanna know who sent me? Who sent you? Like you don't reserve life. Oh yeah. And you really don't 
was dead sleep anyway. Dead sleep anyway. I laid them old boys to rest. They was sleepwalking anyway. Sleepwalking anyway. I'm the people's grand sheep. People's grand sheep. I ain't seen them man. I can't be. What up, Turtle K? I laid them young boys to rest. They was sleepwalking anyway. I will take you on any day. Michigan, New York, Cali, where you at? What you thought? From that town to Baltimore. Every vulnerable is all raw. It's ready. Chop I ain't really think you want the problem. Hold up. Bring the car up. Back to a law. A law. Law. Oh. Lay. Lay. Oh. Hey. I try to get him out of the bed. Welcome to another edition of Morse World TV, fam. I, 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 I want to make sure my mic sound right, fam. I got to be careful on this show. I, 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 I got to be careful on this show. Listen. I'm going to tell you off the top. Yes, indeed. We in the building like we're post. Like we're post. I be that more you gon' remember. Like we're post. I'ma be that more you gon' remember. Like I'm post. I be that more you gon' remember. To the Hall of Fame, front line to the law, call my number. I be that more you gon' remember. Like I'm post. I'ma be that more you gon' remember. That's like I'm post. I be that more you gon' remember. I just make up that going on. Oh, uh, we are almost back to the music now. Acting like you were I'm getting comfortable. Let's go. I 
be that more you gon' remember. Thank you, Elijah. Say, I'ma be that more you got you on the big screen. Right. I be that more you gon' remember. To hawk a bay front line till the law call my number. I be that more you gon' remember. I'ma be that more you gon' remember. Right. What's that? Right. I be that more you gon' remember. To hawk a bay front line till the law call my number. I be that more you gon' remember. Be law. I be that more you gon' remember. That time. I be that more you gon' remember. To hawk a bay front line till the law call my number. I hope I sound alright. I be that more you gon' remember. So listen, family. I might prolong this one tonight. I be that more you gon' remember. To hawk a bay front line till the law call my number. Listen, family. First of all. Black Girls Read. Black Girls Read and Cryptonomics. I need y'all to put my cash app in there. I'm. We got a cult tonight. This is the Morris World TV cult. Let's see how cult we can be. Tomorrow is my birthday. And I need everybody to go and empty out all your bank accounts and put it on my cash app. Listen, I was downloaded information from the fifth dimension. And they told me that if everybody in here would empty out their bank account and put it onto my cash app, it would increase times 10 within six months. It was downloaded from the third dimension. That's right. The third dimension, it it, it came to me. I was sitting here. I was sitting here and I was like, you know what? I won't be able to go live tomorrow. I got to do a good show today. What we going to talk about today? And then some say, it was these vibrating noises in my head. And then it just began to download. It said, tell everybody of the Morse World TV citizens to empty. Hey, y'all, y'all, let me stop playing, man. Y'all been not be so foolish. Y'all been not be so foolish. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> Cause y'all be call, y'all be hitting me up tomorrow. Tell me, but Grand Sheik, was you playing? Cause I really empty out my bank account. <laughs> Is I'm gonna get tenfold back? <laughs> you ain't getting tenfold back. Don't do it. It was a joke. <laughs> Good goodness of gracious. Please. Please, family, <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. And the, the fourth dimension ain't contact me yet. If he do or she do or it do, you will be the first to know. But I have not been contacted yet. <laughs> not yet. I expect any time now. <laughs> but just not yet. <laughs> good, good is <and> gracious. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. Just not now. You know I mean? But anyway, family, there is. I'm asking for your support today, not for my birthday. My birthday is tomorrow, so I can't go live tomorrow and I can't go live Friday because Friday I have to be in the temple on Friday. And on tomorrow, uh, 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 my family has already planned something for me. Uh, they, I think we're going to go out. You know, when you get when you get a half a hundred, you ain't, you ain't having no big old things going on, man. I don't know about y'all trying to keep up with the Joneses. Joneses but, when you, but, when you, but when you break that half a hundred mark, man, ain't nobody got time to be hanging out all night. You know what I mean? I don't drink. I don't do anything extracurricular. So ain't nobody got time. Listen, we're going to go get a meal and go on home. Go And, and as the people say down, down here, because, you know, they say Maryland is the South. And we're going to bathe, man. Not bed. We're going to go on bathe. Yeah, that's way down. Naples, Maryland, South South County in Maryland. We gonna go on bathe, man. We can go on bathe. You go here, get yourself a meal, and then go on bathe, man. You ain't, ain't nobody got time to be up no one, two. Only time I'm up one in the morning is if a show get good. But I mean, dancing and all that jumping around. Nah, mm-mm, I ain't got time. Listen. We can go and get some uh, 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 some vegan. Anybody ever had? I never knew this until I became vegetarian. What's up, Doc? Doc, the Dr. Queen's America in the building. That's my sister. But listen, anybody ever knew that they would have, um, what do they call it? Uh, 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 vegetarian sushi. I never knew until I became vegetarian. They got vegetarian vegan sushi. Oh, it's a bomb too. I love it, and I I don't know my my wife. I think it's a surprise. So so I, if it's if it's if it's if it's sushi, 
a, a vegan vegetarian sushi, I'm all in. I eat a, I'm telling you, I eat a whole boat of them demonstrations. Anybody ever been to a sushi spot? The, 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 uh, the, the, the Chinese people, they put in a big old boat, and they got all the different kind of cook. Goodness of I tell him, I would never know. I would have never known. So tomorrow is my birthday. I'm going to have 100 plus one tomorrow, man. Cook goodness of greatness. Man, I'm trying to tell you. And let me tell you something. When you, when you get to be a half, a hundred plus one, man, I'm trying to tell you. All of these tough guys that be talking tough and they over a half, a hundred plus one, I know I can take them. I just ain't going to take them in public because I, I got a record for these hands. So I don't really want nothing on no camera. You know what I'm saying? But I know I can take them. I know I can take them. Ain't no doubt in my mind. But uh, I can't be surrounded. I can't be. Because I'm, I'm, I'm in pretty decent shape. You know what I'm saying? But when you get a half, a hundred plus one, I'm trying to tell you, you wake up with your back hurting. You be like, man, what happened? You know what I mean? Like, oh, my back hurting. You know what I mean? You got to get your creams together. Got to get your creams together. Anybody over here half hundred plus one? Got to get your creams together. Got to get your heating pads, all that stuff together. I'm trying to tell you. Good goodness of gracious. Walk up the steps and feel like your knee done popped out. Anybody did that? Is that just me? I mean, that, that happened a couple of times. I mean, you walk wrong, you got on you got on regular tennis shoes, and you just your, and your ankle just just twists for no reason. Bam! Like, what the heck is going on? I mean, <laughs> they, they, hey, hey, Doctor Assad, are you talking about the sweet potato roll? <laughs> God, God is gracious. Doctor Assad know what I'm talking about. He know what I'm talking about. It's a mean demonstration here, boy. It's a mean demonstration. So listen, family. What I want to do is I wanted to share with y'all with some of the some of the uh, the threats that I've been uh, had to endure uh, since I uh, been doing more Shrill TV. Family, one of the things I need you to do is to support the Moorish World TV legal fund if you are able to. You know what I mean? If you are, <laughs> Dr. Sa said, not yet. If you are able to, family, let me let me explain before I start the show, family. After you see the show tonight, you're gonna see why I'm I'm asking for your support to put to uh for the legal fund. Because um not only right now do I have some stuff that I have to deal with, um, but I get a lot of threats um, for people want to take a legal route. Even if, see, the thing is about the legal route, it doesn't matter if someone is right or, you know, that they have grounds for legal action. What, it, what the thing is, is the price that it costs to even go through the legal process. So, for instance, if someone accuse you of, say, a, a, a slander or something like that, which slander is a tough one. I'm going to tell you now, slander is a tough one because I got a case right now uh, uh, on an individual uh, uh, for slandering me. And slander is really, really tough to push through the courts. But once you got it in, you're pretty decent. Um, but just say if someone was to make up something and I would have to defend the channel. You know what I mean? As I'm defending the channel now where a, a judge made a faulty ruling, you know what I mean? A judge made a faulty ruling uh, 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 and, and I feel as though I violated my First Amendment right. And I'm actually working on something about that. You know what I mean? And so um, <laughs> you getting threats now up in this demonstration. You know what I mean? And, and, and so that's the thing. Um, so I feel like my rights was violated, you know, but I came, it was my fault. I'm going to tell you why it was my fault. Because I came uh, not taking it as serious as I should have. You know, uh, when someone made a false accusation, um, when someone made, somebody said, more, I'm ordering merchandise the end of the month, feds, et cetera. And that's another thing I'm going to show you. The website, I'm building on the website right now, so you'll be able to go right to the website and purchase anything you want. But, for real, I didn't take it as serious because I didn't believe that one could pump fake and actually get all nets. I didn't believe that. You know what I'm saying? I didn't believe someone could try to use some type of method to violate your First Amendment right and it actually would flow. And so the, and to avoid that in the future, I need to get a lawyer arm retainer. And to, uh, to have a lawyer arm retainer, I'm going to need uh, uh, people who are ready to assist. That's right. I'm going to need everybody who is ready to assist. 
And so let me see if I if I know how to do this real quick. I don't think I know. I don't think I can do this because I'm missing a piece of my screen here. Um, let me see. Let me see. Uh, let me see. I'm gonna add. Let's see. Window capture. Let me see if I can capture a window real quick. Hold up. Let me capture a window. I think that's the window I want to capture. Let me see. Nope, that's not it. This God, that's my music. That's my music. This God, that. Let me see if I can capture a window. I'm going to try to capture a window real quick. Bam. Let me see. I'm going to try to capture this window real quick. I, I haven't been on this. I haven't been on this, this thing in a minute. So let me see if I can. Let me see. How do I do this? Oh. Hold down. One second. All right, let me try all this over. Let me do all this over. I'm going to X out everything. Bam. So I want to try to get y'all into the know. You know what I'm saying? I got to get y'all into the know real quick. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to bam, let me put them down there. All right, now let me try. There it is. So, family, underneath the underneath the um the uh there's a link. And listen, there's a link that you can go to. Uh if Crip can go into the comment section, I mean the description section, you can go to the link and make a su- support the Moorish world tv legal fund because if if i don't if i can't get the support i mean in reality there's no way i can jeopardize uh all that i work for and won't be able to defend myself so if you are if you enjoy the show and you enjoy the research and we want the research to keep going um if you are able to only if you are able you can donate from five to ten to twenty five to fifty to 100 or to whatever you are able to but the lowest is five because that's how the website and i'm building the website here and if you donate you know i mean i mean i got people who help donate from the beginning y'all are going to get emails soon y'all going to be getting emails soon uh that that donated in the beginning when i pursued the defamation case Uh, I'm going to give everybody an exclusive. I'm going to give y'all an exclusive tonight to a degree. I'm going to give y'all an exclusive tonight to a degree of what I'm really up against legally. Um, I'm going to just give you a small, small, I can't do too much right now. Um, But I found a way, but I did find a way to get y'all this information without jeopardizing my freedom because I've been put up against some tough, uh, uh, um, some I've been I've been put against a rock in a hard place because I feel like my rights are being violated. However, I still got to respect the law and go through the process. Press press seven if you understand what I'm saying. But I'm gonna give y'all a glimpse of that tonight. I'm gonna give y'all a glimpse of that tonight. Uh, Cryptonomics just put the link in there. Um, so so family, if you wanna uh 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 hook hook your brother up for for his birthday, you just hit the cash app. But I want the uh, the the Morris World TV Legal Fund. I want it to be accounted for, so I can report back to you um, at the end of the month or something like that, or once I, t- I retain attorney or whatever. But family, in doing this, and and in doing this, family, we got to do this now. I mean, we got to do this now because if, say, for instance, TMC was to put out a story, they they got lawyers to to say, nah, that ain't that. You know what I mean, and, and put it against the backboard. And I'm going to tell you, family, I know people might say, oh, man, here he go asking for something. But I'm telling you, family, most of these networks, your cable bill that you pay for uh, uh, and all the advertisers, they pay for it- attorneys. You know what I'm saying? And they are able to research, investigate and do investigative journalism and don't have to worry about any of that mess. Like. I got paused from putting out my documentary on moist lips right now. I got to go through the legal process to make sure I don't violate anything to put out my documentary about moist lips. Didn't y'all want to see the documentary? Aren't y'all ready for the documentary? 
So that's what I'm saying. So, so you know what I mean? We got to play the game by the rules. We can't violate the law. We can't break the law. But we got to play the games by the rules. You know what I mean? So, hey, if, if I'm unable to, I tell you what, if I'm unable to get the support that I need, the Morris World TV ain't going nowhere. I'm going to do my best to work around stuff, but it probably won't be as raw because, hey, I ain't got no safety net. <laughs> Man, listen, I'm... I'm I'm crazy, but I'm not crazy. You know what I'm saying? Talking about? Yeah, I might be a little crazy, but I ain't that crazy. I got a little baby, man. Cook good as a crazy. My little baby, I don't come home from work, man. My little baby might lose her mind. No, sir. No, sir. So we need to put safety nets and we need to put things in place to protect the brand. And that's just what it is. I mean, we need things in place to protect the brand. So if anybody want to support, um, I mean, Take it as serious as anything else, if you can afford it. If you can afford it. If not, then then you know we're gonna have to uh, do something in order to adjust uh, the 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 presentations on Morse World TV. Yeah, you know I mean it is what it is. Cause I'm telling you, I'm I gotta go home and see my baby when work over. And hey, hey, I ain't trying to sit up in there with Jody now. Mm -mm. Only, 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 uh, uh, uh. uh uh, um, the, the the Republic uh, American people uh, dudes might like that stuff. They might like that stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, the the Z's people. They got the Z's on the back of their name. Man, they might want to lay up next and, and listen to men fight all night. No, not me, buddy. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, sir. <laughs> you know the people with the Z's in the back of their day? <laughs> <laughs> Sitting up there, listen to listen to listen to men tell war stories all night. Those are not me. Mm -mm. <laughs> so the GS, I see. Oh, you see that? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. That that's right. My slang boom bang like African drums. <laughs> so family, let's get started real quick. Family, I don't have them in a. I don't have them in 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 like the order that I need them in. But let me let me do this real quick. Let me show you. So one thing I want to I want to I got to name some people. Right. So one of the things I got to name is. One of the people that I have to name is Ali Muhammad. Anybody remember Ali Muhammad? Ali Muhammad. Oh, my goodness. Ali Muhammad was something now. Let me see. Let me pull him up real quick. I ain't gonna pull everybody up because like I said, I ain't got time. I ain't gonna pull everybody up. But Ali Muhammad. This is what Ali Muhammad said. Has spread slander and libelous statements, defamation, about myself, along with coordinating Ali with people. Muhammad. Listen, so <laughs> I, I think what he's doing here is threatening me with, 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 with some sort of lawsuit or something, right? Um, but but uh, at the end of the day, I don't know what happened. He didn't follow through. He didn't follow through, but nevertheless, nevertheless, this is him. Um, let me hear. People like Taraka Bay, a.k.a. Toronto Johnson. She has used social media as a tactic to defame, injure, and slander. Simply because. I think he was taking, I think he was taking me to his court. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> Some say I'm saying. I like I like your new office, GS. <laughs> Secret balance thought. Thank you, family. I think he was taking me to his court. Ali Muhammad has his own court. Did y'all know that? He has the indigenous court. So I think that's what he was doing. I think he was taking me to his own court, but that's what he said. Spread slander and libelous statements, defamation about myself, along with coordinating with people like Taraka Bay. AKA Toronto Johnson. She has used social media <laughs> as a name. tactic to defame, injure, and slander simply because I chose not to have a relationship with her. <laughs> All right. Some of the defamation. <laughs> I think they love my name. <laughs> they love to say Toronto Johnson. Good, good is a gracious. They love it. I love it too. I mean, mama did good. Mama did real good with that name. Good, good as a crazy. <laughs> but listen, this is Ali. Show y'all all the documents. Show y'all everything when I sue these motherfuckers. So that anybody who comes online, slanders, 
libels and defames you because that's popular now in 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 your conscious community now they just come on and they all talking about each other they don't have no inspiration no education no products no services nothing upliftment they all grown ass black men talking about each other see this is what they do which is they, weird to me i mean you have nothing to do see this is this is what happens when you expose nothing. when you expose frauds the first thing that they do is the same european that they complain about the same european that they call the oppressor the first thing they do is they run to them and you got to play the game with them so hey you got to go with the european too now you got to play the same game you know what i mean because at the end of the day at the end of the day they they run into they they can talk all that stuff they want but i'm gonna tell you soon as things get a little bit thick but the whole thing in the, the whole thing in a nutshell you can say what you want on the internet but it got to be proven in court you know what i mean so so you can call something defamation but if if you if like Morse world tv is showing the receipts and these receipts are permissible in court then then we just wasting we just wasting the time of the court for real I mean, because it's the same receipts. I don't get up here and just talk. There has never been a time where I get up here and just talk. I've always show receipts. Now, I do give some commentary, but for the most part, I'm always showing receipts. And so that's a little light one, Brother Ali Muhammad. That's a little light one, but it's going to get a little bit heavy as time go on. Uh, uh, yeah, it's going to get a little bit heavy. Y'all ready? Now, look. Let me get him out the way. Let me get this guy out the way real quick. I want to get him out the way real quick. Um, oh, did y'all know that Crystal Muhammad then pulled up to my house? I was trying to find the picture where Crystal Muhammad them pulled up to my house. These Black Panther Party people. Let me see if I can find this picture. I forgot to look that picture up. Uh, I forgot to find that picture. Hold up. Let me pull it up. But if y'all don't know, if y'all don't know, right? So this lady, Crystal Muhammad, let me get a picture of her real quick. This lady, Crystal Muhammad, she got really, really mad at me because I exposed her for taking money for a guy that's supposed to have been uh, murdered by a uh, white supremacist and he really wasn't. He literally had a heart attack. And she came to Morris World TV and got money off the show. And from the show, uh, I don't know who broke bread, but the family never received a dime. And so the family actually reached out to me. The wife reached out to me and said it was a scam. You know what I mean? And when I questioned uh, uh, Crystal Muhammad, she claimed um, that... Uh, uh, she don't know where the money is. She didn't know. She didn't collect any money. I'm like, hold up. Her and this guy, Ali Muhammad, is putting, one second, is putting, um, has put their cash app in. And he literally was like a pastor in that demonstration. He was like, we, if you ain't got tens, that's fine. You're the twenties. And we, like, we know you got some hundreds. And we're like, whoa. And so, yeah, that's the way that it went. That's the way that it went. And, but when I found out, I was like, hold up, we gotta rectify this. We got, we got, we got, we gotta rectify this. And so when we went to there go Crystal Muhammad right there. And so when we went to rectify it, she got mad. You know what I mean? She got super mad. Big Shirley. That's Big Shirley from from what's happening. You know what I mean? Her and Rerun, they pop locked together. You know what I mean? But she got super, super mad. And what they would do is I can't get the picture that they post on the internet. I thought I would have it. They actually was taking a trip somewhere. And these crazy rascals, they pulled up to my house, right? And when they pulled up to my house, now listen, listen. When they pulled up to my house, right? I'm I'm live on Morse World TV, right? When they pulling up to my house. I'm looking in the camera. But I also got another monitor playing their channel. Because somebody in the chat said, look outside, Crystal Muhammad is coming to your house. Now, I don't even take jokes like that as a joke. But I said, okay. 
I'm looking at the camera, and I see Big Shirley. Not Big Shirley. I actually see a car, and it's an odd car in the neighborhood. So I'm still doing the show. Now, at the same time, I got my phone right here, and I'm listening I'm, I'm, I'm multitasking, and I'm listening, right? And they lost. they like, I think it's right here. I think it's right here. So the show had already been going on, and now they go live. You know what I mean? I mean, they're live. They're actually live on YouTube. Yeah, I forgot to say that. They're live on YouTube. You know what I mean? Let me rewind a little bit. Let me rewind a little bit. The next day, I want to go back, because the next day, they're riding through my neighborhood and can't find my house. They riding up in people's driveways. They are, oh, I think it's right here. Oh, don't go in people's driveways. They, 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 was like, they was like the stooges of the Black Panther Party. They was like the stooges of the Black Panther Party. You could hear them. You could hear them. Talking, oh, don't go here. Oh, that's the wrong turn. Oh, no, no, no. I'm like, man, what the world? That's the next day that I heard it. But the night that I actually tuned in, I'm sitting on the show. And at that point, they in front of the house. And I see it on the camera. So, as in, in in smooth fashion, you know what I mean. I'm too smooth for 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 the for to to panic. You know what I mean. And plus, come on now, Big Shirley, come on, Big Shirley. You know what I mean, Big Shirley, you driving all the way from Texas to come in front of my house, and you think I'm gonna come out there and do something to you? Nobody, I ain't doing nothing. Call me scared. Call me whatever you want. But I know that if you come in front of my house and you live on YouTube and something happened to you, there is no self-defense law in Maryland, and the judge going to say you should have stayed in the house. And so, say what you want. I stayed. I did for a second. Let me say this. So, while they're out there, I closed the show down. And I literally... The old me kicked in. The old me kicked in, and I literally went out my back door, and I got a privacy fence. I went over the fence, and I was on my way to circle the block because they don't know where they at. All I had to do was come around the back way, you know what I'm saying, because they don't know where they at. They, they don't have a clue. I could, come, I could come from either side. They would not have a clue, and they facing my house. I could have let the dogs out. I could have did anything. So initially, I am mad. I am mad, but I'm not panicking. I never panic. I like danger. I used to like danger. Let me say that. But I ain't even consider them dangerous. So I do go out, and then I said, my, 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 my higher self kicked in. And I was like, man, what am I doing? I'm like, I'm tripping. If somebody gets splattered, they know they on YouTube at my house. This seemed like a setup. This seemed like a setup. So I said, no. I came back around the back way, jumped the fence, and my wife was like, what are you doing? I was like, nothing, nothing. And my wife, she is she, she, so, she like, oh, they in front of the house? They in front of the house? <laughs> my wife, she, 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 went all, she went all of it. You know what I mean? Long story short, I end up going out the front door and they're in, they're in, the, they're in the van. I mean, in, a, in like an SUV. The, the SUV pulls off, and then it's like a Camaro or something sitting right there, you know. And he pulls off, and then circles. I'm still outside. He circles, and I'm like, there "Ain't nothing I can do with them on the street area." So I'm like, "Whatever, you know what I mean? Let them go ahead." Then the next day I found out they took a picture in front of my house talking about the pull-up. <laughs> the pull-up. I was like, oh, man, these, these people crazy, man. <laughs> these people crazy. So they were like, the pull-up. So I said, all right, no problem. I mean, it's all fair. And uh, it's all fair in social media, I guess. It's all fair. You know what I'm saying? But this was, um, if I can find it real quick, it's all fair in social media. But I think this was one of the pull-up videos right here. Uh, let me see. I think this was it. Everybody know we broadcasting right now. Right now. Black New Black Panther Party. See our national chairwoman. Black Power, can y'all hear me how I'm sounding? Good. Black, Black Power, Power. I'm sounding. See, to hawk a bay is a little liar. See, what mm -hmm. he did is he's such a coward. You try to mix 
information. You're going on your show right now talking about, uh, I said I didn't know, Dr. Ali, your message that you sent me was about an assistant. I don't have an assistant and never had an assistant. What are you talking about? You know I know, Dr. Ali. You know what's funny about this, though? Imagine if we were in four walls with the door closed. I don't think any of those people would be able to walk out with me. I'm talking about, for instance, if we was in a situation where as though we just go into four walls and shut the door. I ain't got none of them walking out. From all that tough talk, I just don't see them walking out. I really don't see any of them walking out. Even the young brothers, I just don't see them walking out. For one, they smoke too many cigarettes and drink too many beer. They smoke too many cigarettes and drink too many beer. I just don't see. Listen, listen, I come from a place, right, where we lock horns, right, and ain't nobody, ain't nobody going to stop it. That I mean, ain't nobody going to stop it. Like, we don't do, where I'm from, ain't no doing no stuff for no show. That I mean? I mean, just think about it. Just think about it. All of this tough talk that you hear on the internet, the average person, like I don't want no smoke, but the average person that 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 do this type of thing, they not even in shape to even go like two rounds. Not for real. Not for, come on, man. This is insane. This is insane. But this is but pose I would have jeopardized my family by going. Not on this distance. video. This is gonna be an expose, see. I mean, we're going to deal. See, see, we're here tonight. You joined the new Black Panther Party for self-defense. Under our national challenge, this is Chris Mohammed. See, we're here tonight this is the, this is the to we're have here. a hotel. That's what this is going to be. This is about to be a hotel. The hoe is Tahaka Bay. That's the hoe. See, Toronto Johnson, Tahaka Bay. They love my name. That's the hoe. Yeah. And this is why I need legal representation. You hear what I say? This is the reason why. Just think if I would have went to the limit. I mean, I'm talking about forget, forget all about, uh, uh, forgot my religion, forgot my way of life, forgot all my principles and went the limit. You know, good and well. If any would have survived, they'd be sitting right up in the courtroom. He right there, the guy with the big eyes and, 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 and with, the, with, the, with the skinny head. He was the one. He was the one. You already know that because they live on social media. I would not have. This is why they why they doing this. This is they're supposed to be driving to my house in this video. You feel what I'm saying? And they post it on social media. So you already know what the deal is. If they post it on social media, you already know what the deal is. So I'm just reposting what they post. Yeah. Black Power, Brother Ladachi, that's the whole. Black Power, tell everybody, listen, hey, put the word out right now. New Black Panther Party Radio, in defense of our national chairwoman, Sister Krista Muhammad, in defense of the Black Power Movement, in defense of the new Black Panther Party, we gon' check a hole. Somebody, Ali Jamal Kafu, say, why do you attack brotherly grassroots app? These are not grassroots activists, brother. Come on the show, Kafu. These are not grassroots activists. What do you mean grassroots activists? Do you know what? Brother, I invite you to the show. Respectfully, Ali Jamal Kafu, I invite you to the show so we can discuss what is and what is not grassroots activism. Can somebody, can somebody, can somebody put the the the, the uh, Moore's World TV update uh, Gmail in there and, 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 and see if Kafu, would you come to the show, brother? Would you come to the show? What's, what's your problem that you cannot see what is grassroots and what is fraud? What is grassroots and what is and what is and what is not activism? Are you, would you come to the show? Give me all your talking points and I'm going to give you my talking points. I'm going to tell you right now, if this is a grassroots uh, uh, pulling up to a brother's house with a difference of opinion with children and women in the house with a difference of opinion. This sound like a white supremacist to me. This sound like a white supremacist that when you disagree with somebody's opinion and you got to pull up to their house with with children, with women and all of that. That's that's a white supremacist. That's not grassroots. I never threatened anybody. What are you talking about? 
I disagree with your mode of operation. I disagree that you swindled people on my page. I disagree that you swindled people on my YouTube page. What are you talking about? And you call that grassroots? What part of the game is that? That's grassroots? What part of the game that say, when I disagree with somebody, I'm going to pull up to that? They never pulled out the Zimmerman house. They never pulled up to, uh, uh, let's pay say, they never pulled up to anybody selling crack in the community. They never pulled up to anybody selling heroin in the community. They never pulled up to anybody that, 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 that's uh, pimping women in this community. All I did was disagree on YouTube. And, 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 and they pull up to my, suppose I would have took it serious. Suppose I would have took it serious and went 1992 dumb. Nobody wins. Nobody wins, so let's stop playing. Let's stop playing and calling this grassroots. There ain't no grassroots. You know what I mean? They working to be under the grass doing stunts like that. Just think if it was the wrong person. Just think if it wasn't a thinking person like a Tahaka Bay. Because anybody know me know I'm not a coward. They know I'm not a Anybody that know me know I'm not a coward. Anybody in Baltimore, Annapolis, D.C., and anywhere else, they know I'm not a coward. Anyway, right now we about to check this hole. Salute, comrade. No, make make get, let everybody know we on. Repost it. Post. It. Now listen, what person in their right mind saying that they're gonna pull up to somebody's house and check them on the internet? Huh? What person does this? Don't nobody do that. Don't nobody do that. Only person does that is one that's trying to set somebody up. That's it. That's it. That's the only person do that. Somebody trying to set somebody up. Because if I would have came out there, if I would have came out there, and I ain't talking about face you, why would I come out there and face five people? That don't make sense. You're talking about war. You ain't talking about uh, uh, we walking down to the ring uh, 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 to, for a boxing match. But I stay in my right state of mind. I stay on point. You know what I'm saying? But that's one of the reasons that I'm sharing with you that we definitely need uh, uh, more Shrill TV uh, legal backing. It is what it is. I mean, it is what it is. Um, Let me. Let me, let me, let me, I think I got one more. What else they say? Let me see what else they say. Is that, let me see. You look like the Tin Man from the West. Yeah, that's Ali Sitting Mahomes. in a goddamn basement like you a tough guy. Pour some mm -hmm. water. With a fucking red hat on. Monkey hat. Trying to change your identity. When all the while you beat on women. 11 domestic violence cases, child abuse. You trying to switch the subject. And you know what's funny to me? These people keep on talking about child abuse. I could, you know what? I could file a defamation case to, for all of that, for each and every one of them, because they lying. You know what I mean, I could file, I could file defamation, but but why would I do it? It would be a waste of my time. It would be a waste of my time. The last person said this stuff. You know what happened, right? It would be a waste of my time. You know what I mean, but there it is. There it is. There it is. Look at Ali. The Tim Man from the Wiz. Sitting in a goddamn basement man. like you a tough guy. Pour some mm -hmm. water. With a fucking red hat on. <laughs> Monkey hat. Trying to change your identity. When all the while you. See what I'm talking about? And the funny part is how people carry these words on the internet. It was somebody the other day that just, just repeated this same stuff. I'm like, man. Man, and see, that's why defamation and slander is important because once you pour the water on the floor, you can't put it back in the cup. You can't put it back in the cup. So all of the lies that have been put out about me, you know what I mean? You got people repeating it like it's the real thing. You got people repeating it like it's the real thing. But uh, this is the threat where they pulled up to the crib. They pulled up to the crib, family. I wish I could find the picture, but they pulled up to the crib. Yeah, they sure did. They pulled up to the crib, act like they was going to get busy. Anybody, anybody remember that picture? Go on and send it to me so I can show it to the Morris World TV citizens. 
Next day, they put the picture up on the internet, like we in front of the Uncle Big House. I said, good, good, is gracious. Is that right? And I'm supposed to, and then everybody, oh, you ain't come outside? Like, all right, man, I got you. I got you. I just don't remember that part of the game. I just don't remember that part of the game where uh, uh, someone uh, pulls up, supposedly pulls up to your house, and you supposed to come out and and, and, and and lay them on the ground so so the peoples can come and put them bracelets on you and walk you on downtown. They on a video saying they in front of your house. I mean, only a fool would do that. I ain't. I'm. I. I used to be. I used to be that fool, but not no more, Mm-mm, buddy. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Who else we got? Who else we got? <laughs> Who else we got? Uh, listen, family, if you ever feel as though that you in a threatening way, um, if you have been threatened in a certain way, family, don't even trip. Cause look, this is what the tough. Oh my god! Oh my god! What they do right there. That what they do right there. See when that European come. Look at that. Look at that. They don't want no smoke. <laughs> they don't want no smoke when that peen come. You know what I mean? Now, I bet you they ain't pull up to them peens that, that sprayed that that sprayed that demonstration on them. I bet you they ain't do no research to find out where them peens live at. Look at that. They 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 sprayed a whole rack of them. They hold up. They spray the whole. Oh, Look at him. Oh my God. First one with the hands up. The first one with the hands up. But they going they going to do what they call a whole test. Okay. Okay. Mhm. And see that's the problem with our people. Our people, we talk a lot of stuff to one another, but when that ping come <laughs> when that ping come, it's a ball game, fam. It's ball game when that ping come. You know what I mean? They out there revolution. And my thing is, I don't think nobody should be a tough guy. I just think we need to be more smart and move more intelligent. You know what I mean? I think we need to I think we need to be more intelligent. Because if you think that you're gonna march around with uh, 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 nine people with some some weapons that you can get from the Bass Bass Pro Shop, and these people got you running around eating pork chops, you running around smoking cigarettes, new ports, you smoking weed every day, you're drinking after every march, and you got these police. They train every day. They 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 they, they get experience with with weirdos every day, and they sitting up there waiting. They just gonna out train you. They gonna out maneuver you. Every time. They're going to outmaneuver you every time because you just came half caught. You know what I mean? You just came half caught. So the best thing for you to do would be to fight the war intelligently. And this is not intelligence. That is So so I'm supposed to be as dumb as you? No, nah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Like, for real. Now, you got people, like, you got law enforcement that all they do is train every day. Every day, they in some at work. Every day, they in some type of situation that enhances their training, and these people are just running around marching with with guns that you can get at the bass shop. You know what I'm saying? They marching around, screaming "Black Power," screaming "No justice, no peace." They ain't running up no hills. They ain't doing no calisthenics. They smoking a pack of new ports a day. They drinking Budweiser, Coors Light, and every other type of beer, you know what I mean? And then they get drunk, and then they, they mess with each other, and then they talking about they going to fight the police and fight the pal. Okay, you really think so? Okay, good luck with that one. Good luck with that one, you know what I mean? But whatever the case may be, let me go to my next one. So, family, look. Oh, y'all going to like this one. It's about to turn up a little bit. Um. This one here, Michi X, she was going to oh, sue me. I don't know what happened. He's supposed to know about these laws and stuff me. like that. That's what they all deal with. Y'all remember so this? So you actually Michi taking them to the, the she court? Was, she you saw them? Yes, I contacted I contact my attorney. I'm going to tell you right now. Sonetta and her has plotted that they're going to sue me for exposing the nonsense. Listen. Hold up, hold up. We about to get to the real good part in a minute. Not this one. This is just lawsuits here. 
he supposed to know about these laws and stuff like that. That's what they all deal with. So you actually taking him to the court? You saw him? Yes, I contact, I contact my attorney. I'm going to tell you right now. Some people, right, they need to be made an example of. And that's what I'm doing. And I'm not just... And you know the crazy thing about that? Right after she went to Sinetta and they teamed up to try to act like she was going to sue me, they started beefing with each other. They started doing videos about each other. And, and, and I'm just saying, prove the information wrong. I just say you can't make, you can't teach people to, uh, 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 what's that thing she said she was charging people for? Uh, the escape out their body or something. What that thing was? I forget what it was. On the website, she was charging people to, to uh, astro, astro plane or something like that. I mean, I, like you can't do it. If you can do it, just come on the camera and show us that you can do it. She was charging people to teach them how to astro plane, what they call it. I forgot it, hydroplane or something. Bounce off the road while you're driving. I don't know, something, what they call that stuff. I forget now. But whatever it was, I was like, it was mean that you can go outside your body and some stuff like that. I was like, wow. And she was charging people to build altars and stuff. I'm like, this is kind of weird. You know what I mean? Yeah, teleport, a, a telephone, and 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 telecop, and all type of tele stuff. I just was like, this is weird. And I challenged these people to say, okay, if it's true that you can teleport or whatever you can do, please just do it online. Because if you can't do it on the line, astral project. There it is. If you can't do it online, then guess what? You're lying. That's all I said. And if you can't show people how to astro project, then it's called a grift. Because you're saying that, but I mean, where's the evidence? That's all I said. That's all I said. So is astro projection a theory or can you actually teach it? I think astro projection is real, actually. But I just know these people don't know what they're talking about. Just like I know that the original natives here in America was dark skin, copper tone. But I know these internet moors don't know what they talk about. These internet uh, 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 um, Indians don't know what they talk about. These internet Negroes don't know what they talk about. And so I can challenge them because they don't know what they're talking about. You know what I mean? <laughs> Astro project, not hydro play. Yeah, they want hydro play so I can challenge them. I know they don't know what they're talking about. I know they don't know nothing about hydroplane and astro projection. I know they don't know nothing about uh, uh, being indigenous and copper tone. I know they don't know nothing that they're talking about. So I can challenge them. And I can prove that they are not them. I know. because And so when I challenge them, they get mad telling me they're going to sue me because they're not robbing nobody. Huh? Huh? You will sue me because I'm saying you can't show me uh, uh, you hydroplaning. I mean, astro projecting. I guess you can't hydroplane. Nah, you probably can't hydroplane. <laughs> Big Mama can't hydroplane. Big Mama can't hydroplane. That if, if, <laughs> let me say, <laughs> bad grand chic. <laughs> she can't hydroplane. <laughs> that Volvo. <laughs> that Volvo's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> y'all ain't right. Y'all is not right. Uh, uh, uh. Y'all ain't right. Uh, uh, uh. Y'all ain't right, man. I I'm about to get out of here. <laughs> y'all could get me in trouble, man. Y'all could get me in trouble, man. For real, man. Y'all ain't right, man. Y'all need to stop, man. All right. <laughs> She can't, her Volvo's are heavy. She can't, she can't hydroplane no Volvo. <laughs> Y'all got it? <laughs> Man, grand <crash. laughs> uh, 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 Jasmine, stop, stop. Hey, has anybody seen Sister Takaya lately? Man, I haven't seen Sister Takaya in the chat. I emailed her too. Man, I haven't seen her in the chat lately, man.
I hope she's okay. If anybody's seen Sister Dakaya, uh, let her know that the Moorish World TV citizens uh, was looking for. Her. You know what I mean? I ain't seen her in a couple of days in the chat. Anyway, um, yeah. So, 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 so there she goes. You gonna ever accuse me of these things? Those things I will sue you for. They are called slander. Right. So there she goes. So this is where we, this is where we moving forward when it comes to Mr. Tarka Bay. He gonna go expose somebody else, but he gonna learn today well, that was the wrong one to mess with. Well, I'm gonna tell you right. That's your peoples. Let me see what she said. You gonna ever accuse me of these things? Those things I will sue you for. They are called slate. Right. So this is where we, this is where we moving forward when it comes to Mr. Tarka Bay. He gonna go expose somebody else, but he gonna learn today well, that was the wrong one to mess with. Well, I'm gonna tell you right. Hey family, have y'all witnessed these threats, man? Y'all witnessed it. Y'all witnessing these threats. Mm -mm -mm. Let me go to an intermission real quick, grab Get myself some water or something. Let me clear out some of this stuff, man. Y'all see this stuff? This stuff don't make no kind of sense, man. Y'all see what I gotta go through? Y'all see what I gotta go through? I guess y'all don't see what I gotta go through. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, family. Let me see. For those of you that's joining, my birthday tomorrow, man. Let me see. I'm gonna put my cash app in. I need everybody to uh let me see. I'm gonna put my cash app in here, man. I'm going, I'm going, I'm I'm I need to get me a new microphone on you. Sorry, I'm just lying. <laughs> but now if y'all want to support the brother. That's good. That's good news for me. I mean, thanks for all your support. Happy birthday, Grand Sheik. I'll be a half a hundred plus one. That's right. That's right. I'll be a half a hundred plus one. Somebody said, report the goon squad in Mississippi being sent to sentence. Oh, I'm going to check that story out soon. I'm definitely going to check that story out soon. Don't worry. I'm going to give somebody their props if they get props. Let me tell you something. If Malik Zulu Shabazz literally got these people sentenced, I'm going to give them the props where props is due. Absolutely. I'm not going. I'm not one-sided like that. You know what I mean? But I, 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 I am in the middle of the road at it because I know how Malik Zulu Shabazz operates. So I'm kind of at the middle of the road, and I haven't seen the story yet. You know what I mean? I haven't seen the story yet, so um, if Moist Lips is live, that means he must know. Somebody say, "Is that a Drake shirt?" Nah, this ain't a Drake shirt. Actually, actually, you know what I mean. I am um, one second. This is a bam. One second. Check one, two. All right, let me see. Somebody says that a Drake shirt. Actually, no, this actually, um, these symbols are, are, are on the Medunetta. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the owl wise, like the old owl. All of this stuff is on, on, on the walls of ancient Kemet. You know what I mean? Now we're gonna we're gonna research we're gonna research it, Adrian Haley. I'm gonna tell you one thing about Malik Zulu Shabazz. He will latch on to cases. You know what I mean? He will definitely latch on latch on to cases. What that mean is is that he will latch on to the civil part of the case, but in the actual criminal part, he don't really be having no parts in that. So uh, we'll we'll discover it soon. The civil part where he can get a cut of the money. He'll latch on to that. He will do, uh, so you got to look at it close, eight. And I, I'm not saying that he wasn't a part of the criminal prosecution. I'm not saying that. And in fact, uh, 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 he, he, I mean, how could he be a part of the criminal prosecution unless he was the prosecutor? That don't really make sense. You understand what I'm saying? That don't really make sense. But I'm going to look into it. You know what I mean? If he was instrumental in the prosecution, then, hey, guess what? Guess what? Kudos. 
to Malik Dudu Shabazz. At least out of 30 years, he has gotten himself into one case to solidify his 30-year career. But I think it's more to it, and we'll see. I tell you, he gets involved with uh, uh, slip and fall cases where there's money involved for him to walk home with the bag for litigating civil stuff. Somebody say he was on the case. We're going to look into it. We're going to look into it, Adrian. We're going to look into it. Don't be a fanboy now. Don't be a fanboy. We're going to look into it. We got you. We're going to look into it. We're going to look into it. We got you. We got you. But now, let me go to the second one. Let me get, okay. Okay, family. Before we go to, oh, family. Oh, y'all ready? All right, all right. So listen, this one is going to be number three. Family, don't forget to support the Moorish World TV Legal Fund. The link has been in here. The link is also in the description section. Family, if y'all really want these shows, because I'm about to take some risk, if y'all really want these shows, y'all are going to have to support. Or I'm going to have to change the, change, the, change the thing of the way I do it. You know what I mean? But whatever that being said. So, fam, do anybody remember? Y'all remember, what, what song did I play at the beginning of this? Oh, here we go. Do y'all remember this song right here? Give me one second. Give me one second. At the beginning of the show, I played a song. And right here. He says to Harker Bay. That guy right there. Do y'all know who this guy is? This guy's name is Richard Neil Bay. He is some sort of proclaimed Moorish American. And I say some sort of proclaimed Moorish American is because he got mad at me because I exposed the fact that he was selling marijuana out of his temple a few years ago, right? And I exposed the fact that he had a website called The Green uh, a noble Drew Ali's green initiative. You feel what I'm saying? And when I looked into it, I found a whole bunch of evidence that led to the discovery that in fact, it was allegedly more of selling of weed than, <coughs> excuse me, and then CBDs or whatever they call it. And so I did a whole presentation. Also, him and his wife had uh, swindled a Moorish American out of thousands of dollars. And the brother named Diggy Ali. And I was instrumental in getting the brother his money back. Y'all follow me so far? Press 7 if y'all follow me so far because this is going to be a good one. This is going to be a good one. I want to make sure y'all with me because now it's about the heat about to turn up. So I made this intro, right? I made this intro. And this intro has been one of the hottest intros ever seen on Moorish World TV. Ever. You know what I mean? I love this intro. This is the best intro. I'm trying to tell you. This intro is phenomenal to me. Let me see some. Let me see. Yeah, this intro is phenomenal to me. I love it. This is the best intro on Morris World TV, right? And let me show you. This is the guy right here. In this video, he's supposed to be a Moorish American, right? But in this video, let me show you real quick. Oh, man. It's still loading. Hold up. In this video, it's not like you're on a line with your Check it out. We out here in the trenches, still. In the trenches. Yeah, out here. Y'all see that? We out here. Still out here working. So look, so he's supposed to be a grand chic of some sort. And he politicking, 
he politicking with these Europeans in the middle of the night, you know what I'm saying? And and it, the weird thing about it is, let me let me see if I can turn this volume down real quick. The weird thing about it is, is the content of what he's talking about. You know what I'm saying? With the European, you know what I mean? Um, and the European even using, <laughs> and the funny part about it, the European even using uh, a little bit Moorish vernacular. Check it out. Until it make a nigga pass out. Internet plug a nigga. Look at this. This middle of the night. This middle of the night. Y'all see that? Unbelievable to me. Look at that. Freedom is just. Y'all see that? In the middle of the night, this guy is politicking, riding around with this European, and, 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 and for all intents and purpose, it appears that, uh, uh, you know, they up to no good or whatever the case may be. But nevertheless, so I exposed this guy, you know what I mean? I exposed this guy uh, uh, just to, to the raw, to the raw, like let people know, like like this guy calling himself a grand sheik, this guy talking about he a Moorish American, and my thing is, like, we don't move like that. We, don't, we just don't move like that. You know what I mean? And it, it was crazy to me to see this. It was crazy to me to see this. And I would just say, uh, um, we just don't move like this. You know what I mean? And so I don't want people to believe that this guy, that somebody said, replay what she said. I'm trying to not get this music in here. That's why. Hold on, hold on one second. Why she say love, true, peace, freedom, and justice? Is this fool crazy? This is the. It's not like you're on a white Check it out. We out here in the trenches, man. Listen to this. Check it out. We out here in the trenches. She tell me, I need a liar. I need a loving liar. I need a liar. <laughs> this supposed to be a grand chic. This supposed to be grand chic. For real. Still demonstrating. Oh, no. His wife is at home while he's out there doing that. <laughs> his wife at home. He, he married man. Love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. We gon' creep with that ratchet out. On your street, we gon' creep with that ratchet Love, truth, freedom, and justice. <laughs> Let you freedom, let you and justice. Hey, yeah, his wife at home. He chilling. I like you're on a white mission. Yeah. I like you're on a white mission. Man, let me just stop that right there. I don't want to. I don't want to. <laughs> so look. So anyway, I exposed this guy for being uh, disingenuous as it relates to being a, as it relates to being. The uh, a member of the Moore Science Temple, which he's not. He's not actually. You know what I mean, but but on the internet, you know, you can say anything. Um, oh no, he is married to a sister. No, Hope Hope Owens L. He is married to a sister. Absolutely, his wife is a sister. Hope. Yeah, he's married to a sister. Absolutely, he's married to a sister. But that night, I don't know what he was up to. That night, I don't know what he was up to. But anyway, so I exposed him on the weed thing. I exposed him uh, uh, on this foolishness that, that he's up against. and I mean, that, he, that he's demonstrating in these streets. And oh my God, did, I, did, did it set him off. It set him crazy. Hope, did you ever say? It set him crazy. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. You see this guy here? Oh my goodness, he gonna beat me up. That's what he told everybody. He gonna beat me up. He matter of fact, recently he gonna be he gonna beat me up. That's what he say. He gonna beat me up. I'm scared. I am scared to life. I'm trying to tell you. That's what he said. Look at him. Ain't he scary? <laughs> this is a scary guy. <laughs> he told me the other day that he will go to jail. And I say, yeah, because you like what they do in jail. I don't. <laughs> yeah, scary guy. Mm -hmm. 
They do all of this on the internet. They do all of this on the internet. So I'm not saying nothing that they not talking on the internet. This is a, this is a scary guy, man. I'm scared. You know what I mean? This, if that grizzly bear grabbed me, I'm trying to tell you, hey, hey, I'm not responsible. I'm just not responsible. I'm to look at him. Look at him. Good goodness of gracious. Man, listen. I ain't never said I was a tough guy. But I tell you what, that grizzly bear been not grab me. I'm trying to tell you some good stuff. You better not grab me. I'm trying to tell you. I ain't going to play with you. That's right. I ain't going to play with you. Anyway. So, family. When that happened, and and now you know he probably was mad. You know what I mean? So this is what he came with. And it's better for me to do it this way because I was going to come kill you in the name of Allah. I was going to blow your head off your body. From away from your house. That's what I was gonna do to you two years ago, boy. That spear, Allah told me to stand down. What you think you can do, I can do greater. See, you didn't know that. And you keep talking. <laughs> yeah, I see that. Check them out. And it's better for me to do it this way because I was gonna come kill you in the name of Allah. I'm you see what I'm saying? This is what happens. This is why we need a legal fund. See, this. listen, I've never put this out here. He did this on the internet. He said this dumb stuff on the internet. I've never put this out. Every time somebody threatened me, I keep a file. I'm telling you now live. You know I mean? It's going to blow your head off your body. How do you go on the internet and say something that's stupid? You feel what I'm saying? How do you do that? This is why it's so imperative that Moorish World TV create a legal fund in order to have an, a, reta a retainer for an attorney because we never know what it might come to. Like many people look at Moorish World TV. Some might even look at Moorish World TV as entertainment. But when you start to cut people purse strings and you start to cut people influence, they may do anything. Do you understand what I'm saying? Press seven if you understand what I'm saying. They may be subject to do anything. The moment that you cut their source of income and you expose that they are not who they say they are, they may do anything. Listen, let me tell you something. Whether y'all know it or not, how many people in here, how many people in here believe in Jesus in some way, shape, or form? Press seven. If you are Muslim or Christian or just believer in Jesus, because I want to give you a, a, a quick little story, real quick, right? And it it it, it, it really underscores that. But if, if you believe in Jesus, right? Remember the story of Jesus that when it was all when it was getting to the point where Jesus was exposing the Pharisees and the Sadducees and the everyday swindlers of the day, they wanted to take Jesus out. That was if when you really understand the story, the Romans thought Jesus wanted to take his take their place. Not the European version of the story. The same story is in the Bible is that King Herod wanted to kill all the babies because they thought that the he would grow up and take their throne. So even in this day, when you are very outspoken against lies and hypocrisy, most people think you want their position. When in fact, you're just waking people up to what's really going on. So they killed the babies. They, 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 they killed all the babies, but they still didn't get John or Jesus. The second part of the story is that the people that were supposed to uh, be entrusted by the people was manipulating the people. The Pharisees and the Sadducees, the clergymen, the lawyers, et cetera, et cetera. All those that are supposed to be inspirational to the people, helping develop the spirituality of the people, was swindling the people. Jesus was calling them out. He called them snakes. He called them devils. He was going in on them. That's the part that Jesus, they don't want y'all to talk about or want y'all to learn about because Jesus wasn't soft. But anyway, because of that, his own people turned on him and turned him in into the Romans, right? That's just the way the story goes. Turned him into the Romans. And they cheered 
after they crucified him or as they was crucifying him. They cheered. So whether you believe in the story or not, just think of the concept. This is the same thing that happens today to people that tell the truth. This is the same thing that happens today to the people that reveal something that's right before people face and people not aware of it. But the odd thing about it is, but the odd thing about it is, is that Jesus was feeding 5,000 people, you know what I mean, 10,000 people, two fish, uh, uh, the loaves of bread. He was feeding all these people, and none came to his defense. None came to his defense. Some shrawny little Romans came up and put him on a stake. Take Marcus Garvey, for example. Marcus Garvey had the biggest following of our people moving in one direction in his day, before his day, and even up till now. Registered to roll with Marcus Garvey. But when he was set up, nobody came to his defense. When he was set up, they stood on the shore while they took Garvey away and they cried. This is the problem with a lot of leaders who are serious. They don't really recognize that a lot of times we really not ready for that next level. But if you look at the past, you'll be able to see that the moves of yesterday is the same moves of today. They're the same moves of today. If we pay close attention, you take Prophet Muhammad, for example. Prophet Muhammad, he's running up in Mecca and Medina, telling people stop being pagans, stop being idolaters. He's really getting, gaining momentum. Forget, forget the Eastern for, uh, 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 forget the Eastern persuasion of the customs and the overtones that make people soft even in our Islam. Think about the real Muhammad when he was sending a message for people to get right and stop doing the things of yesterday that lead you down the wrong path that is no good to you. You know what they did to Muhammad? They ran him out of Mecca. They ran him all the way to Ethiopia. Forget the story that the Europeans tell you. What I'm telling you is that the same thing yesterday is today. It's the same thing yesterday as today. So when somebody said, oh, oh, Tahaka Bay got smacked, that don't bother me. Jesus got spit on. That don't bother me. You know what I mean? I knew what was on the building. I knew what was in the car. I didn't know what was on the building when I was there. Let me say that. I didn't know what was in the car when I was there, but I know what was on the ground. I know what I seen. Wisdom showed me all the working parts on the chessboard when I pulled up. So I already knew what to expect. I didn't know it was that deep though. And I didn't know they were that deep. But hey, come on, man. If you believe in Prophet Muhammad, the prophet of God, they ran him out of Mecca. Jesus never had to escape to Egypt. Prophet Noble Drew Ali got stabbed right in front of his of his of his home which they call home office by the same people he came to help so none of this stuff surprises me see when we understand things like that then we're able to move better and that's why i say if i'm unable to um to 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 make the adjustments to defend myself especially legally then hey we just hey it is what it is i expect your support though look at this from away from your house that's what I was going to do to you two years ago, boy. That spear, Allah told me to stand down. What you think you can do, I can do greater. What is he talking See, about? See, you didn't know that. And you he said, what you think you can do, I can do. I don't even know what he's talking about. But this shows you these people that have troubled spirits. They're talking about trouble. Shoot. They, 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 these are the troubled spirits here. You know what I mean? Look at this. These are the trouble, trouble yeah, here. Yeah, I'm telling you, real. See, I'm not officer in the temple, moment in the private, and I come see you. 
I give my life for a willing sacrifice. I'll do a beloved with St. Tony and Jane, bro. That's me. You catching the real hard in the obey now. And I want to play with you. And you don't want to play. <laughs> I want to play the games you like yelling. Look, this guy really think I supposed to respond on the internet to all of this foolishness. Nope, I'm going to expose you of being a, 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 a temple fraud. I'm going to expose you for for being who you not for being not who you say you are, and you're gonna go on the internet and make all these threats. Look at that! Now you tell me that arm ain't gonna get tired. That arm gonna get tired after ten minutes. I'm gonna be just be ready to start, and he gonna do. So. I'm gonna be just be ready to start. That arm can't handle no ten minutes. Look at that. 10 minutes, that arm going to be tied. I guarantee you, it's going to be like a sa- a bag of sand. I'm going to be just ready to start. I'm trying to tell you. That's why they need, that's why they need all of this other stuff because they've been not used these sandbag arms. I'm trying to tell you. Tell you with a no. But, hey, it is what it is, family. It is what it is. Uh, but this is what I be up against. You know what I mean? This is what I be up against all the time, family. All the time. And it makes no sense. It makes no sense why nobody just can't prove what I'm saying wrong. That's the funny part to me. They just can't prove what I'm saying wrong. What's so hard about that? Let me see something. Make sure y'all still in here. Because I don't see y'all. Can y'all still in here? I don't see nobody moving. Y'all getting nervous or something. Y'all getting scared too? <laughs> y'all scared like me? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all skin <scared> like me. <laughs> that's a that's a big bird, that eh, boy. <laughs> Ball trucker. <laughs> that big fella, huh? Eh? But I tell you what, I tell you what, ten minutes in, he he gonna be out. He gonna be out of gas. He be out of gas. You know what I mean? All these threats. Why would somebody go on the internet and make these sorts of threats in the first place? It just don't make sense. It just don't make sense. And so, I just thought I'd share it with y'all. Look. He's a coward, man. They don't want to see you. I want to taste you. <laughs> what the heck is he talking about? Y'all hear that? This, this is crazy, man. Taste you. With this- <laughs> what this crazy man talking about? Man, come on, man. And I told when he said he liked it, he said, I'm ready to go to jail. And then you hear something like it, say, back, watch. He's a coward, man. They don't want to see you. I want to taste you. With this-, <laughs> <laughs> this fool literally on the internet talking about he want to taste the man. Man, man, man. And I'm not supposed to elaborate on this. I, I, I'm supposed to let this go. This is great content. <laughs> this is great content. I got to share it with the Boys World TV citizens. This is amazing content. <laughs> Somebody say, what exactly did I say? I exposed the fact that they were, they had this thing going on where they were actually, um, they was basically selling um, CBDs, allegedly selling weed. And I exposed that fact um, that that was what was going on. Um, he got really upset. You know what I mean? He got really, really upset. I mean, he got really, really upset. Yeah. He got really, really upset and went crazy. You know what I'm saying? But, hey. It is what it is. It is what it is, man. He got really, really upset, and and this is what he that's 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 what it came to. <laughs> <It's playing again. laughs> I don't even know what to say about that. I don't even, I can't even get commentary on that one. <laughs> Tell me what taste somebody. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> this is some sick stuff here, boy. Woo! Now you tell me this ain't good commentary. I mean, good content. What? He's a coward, man. They don't want to see you. I want to taste you with these. <laughs> oh, with I those. want to taste you, bro. Yeah. I want to see what you got for real. He want to taste me with his fist. Real spill. I'm hyped for that. I'm enthused. Raised by a mega saw. He would taste me with his fist. I never heard that before, though. <laughs> Somebody said, you know the dope man don't like to be told. Uh, my, man, my thing is, like, you can do whatever you want to in life, but don't act like you a Moorish American. You know what I'm saying? I mean, don't act like that. You know what I mean? Just go, just go ahead and do your thing. Just go ahead and do your thing. Don't act like a Moorish American. You know what I'm saying? So, family, before I... I, I got two more. Let me get two more. So so listen, you already know, you already know, one of the main ones is moist lips. Moist lips uh, has used the law to its benefit um, bogusly, and I feel like my rights has been violated, but moist lips has really manipulated the system and people to believe that I have been looking, watching, and and all I did was make a video. Moist lips got people believing that I uh uh, uh that I've been uh, uh trolling and and all of this stuff. When all I did was investigative reporting. That's all I did was investigative reporting. I didn't troll nobody. I didn't go to anybody home. I didn't go to anybody workplace. I didn't go to nowhere. So, so Moist Lips uh, uh, then used uh, uh, loopholes and got people believing that I actually uh, 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 went into the prison. You know what I'm saying? I never went into no prison. You know what I mean? I didn't go. I didn't go to no prison. I didn't go to the cell block. I didn't do none of that. But people believe in that I went uh, uh, to all of these. Uh, I mean, moist lips say anything, and people go for it. And it's sad, but hey, that's the world that we live in. And so that was one of the major things that uh, this year that it, it how to, how. I got breaking news on this too, family. I got some receipts that you're not going to believe. You know what I'm saying? I got some receipts that you're not going to believe. Everything that I've said was true, is true, and I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to have to release it soon. Now, I'm going to tell you. I don't know if I'm going to do a Patreon. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I can't do it on YouTube. Uh, but I'm going to put it out. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to tell you, I got some stuff that it's a slam dunk. Whatever I said Moist was, that's what Moist is. Whatever I said Moist was, that was is, and I got the proof that you that no one can deny today. No one can deny today. I got the proof that no one can deny. It's a shut case on who this person is. It's a shut case. From his own mouth, not from my mouth, from his own mouth, it is documented. And when we say it is documented, I didn't make up no document. In fact, you actually can go get the document yourself if I point you in the direction. You actually can get it yourself if I point you in the direction. Whatever I said, it is true. When I say they watching, plotting to get me, whatever I said, it is true. And guess what? A couple people got the document just in case. When I drop the document, I'm trying to tell you. When I drop the document, I'm trying to tell you. It's going to shake up the world. It's going to shake up the world. I already got it scheduled for release. It's going to shake up the world because I told y'all I was going to show y'all in real time of those who infiltrate the community. And I got it. Oh, I got it. You know what I'm saying? 
I got it. Let me show you. I found this other video where somebody is threatening my life. Right here. Big Rick in the house, go tear his motherfucking head off. My shit's fine, you slipping. I'm trying to know we ain't left town. I done checked this place, it's 820. So we around here somewhere, watch. No, you see you. You see you, come on, go. You know me. What's up? Big Rick in the house, go tear his motherfucking head off. My shit's fine, you slipping. I'm trying to know we ain't left town. I done checked this place, it's 820. So we around here somewhere, watch. No, you see you. You see you, come on, go. You know me. What's up? Big Rick in the house, go tear his motherfucking head off. My shit's fine, you slipping. I'm trying to know we ain't left town. I done checked this place, it's 820. So we around here somewhere, watch. No, you you. You know what's funny about all this, though? You know what's funny about all this, though? No, it's moist. M-O-I-S-E. Moist. Moist lips. Ain't no moist. You talking about Crip? Crip don't even know how to spell. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> it's moist. It ain't moist. It's moist. <laughs> but you know what's funny about all this? I want y'all to listen to this, right? Listen to this threat right here. Listen to this threat right here. You know what I mean? Listen to this threat right here. Listen. Brick in the house, go tear his motherfucking head off. My shit's fine, you slipping. I'm trying to know we ain't left town. I done checked this place, it's 820. You, you, know, you know what people ain't paying attention to? This guy says that if he see me, he was going to tear my MF and head off. And he know I haven't left town because he checked flights. Which average citizen on the wing checked flights? What, what, what average citizen watch a live stream of some melee and then say, oh, let me check the flights. Look at this. Brick in the house, go tear his motherfucking head off. My shit's fine, you slipping. I'm trying to know we ain't left town. I done checked this place, it's 820. So we around here somewhere, watch. No, you see you. You see you, come on, go. You know me. What's up? Big Rick in the house, go tear his motherfucking head off. My shit's fine, you slipping. I'm trying to know we ain't left town. You know what's funny, though? A lot of people are tough guys, you know, with weapons or your video cameras and all that. I'll tell you, man, you, you getting them square walls, it's a, it's a whole different ballgame. I done checked this place, it's 820. So we around here somewhere watching. No, you, you see you, come on, go. You know me. What's up? Big Rick in the house, go tear his motherfucking head off. My shit's fine, you slipping. I'm trying to know we ain't left town. I done checked this place, it's 820. Um, somebody, listen, somebody say, for, for those of us who don't have a clue, can someone please tell me how to proclaim my nationality according to the prophet? Family, you can hit me up at joinnobletemples at gmail.com. You know what I mean? Joinnobletemples at gmail.com. Let me put it in here. Join Noble Temples at gmail.com. The secretary will get in contact with you. You know what I'm saying? But this is funny to me. You know, in the middle of the morning, you checking flights and all of this type of stuff. You see how bizarre this thing is? Like, you see how bizarre this is? Like, and you talking about we going to be free as a people? This stuff is bizarre. If the judge believe it, that's the end of more. <laughs> That's the end of more trail TV for a minute. You feel what I'm saying? But that's how serious it is. And many people, you ain't never seen nobody this much attacked on any platform of YouTube like this. Now, I never showed this before. I never showed all this. And I got many, many more. I got many, many more. But I'm going to ask you a question. Can you name somebody who has been attacked uh, and threatened for legally and bodily harm as much as I showed you tonight. And I'm not finished yet. Can you? Yes or no? Yes or no? Can you show 
on YouTube where there is a YouTuber. Now, you got people that's talking about people all day, every day. The difference between Morris World TV, we show the receipts. We just don't be up here just talking with talking heads. We show receipts. You know what I'm saying? Here we go. Why did you accept the contract? The letter with improper service. Brother, we're not gonna get into all that. We're not gonna get we we're not gonna get into all that. <laughs> Why did you accept the contract? Bro, I just said it came in the mail, brother. Why did you accept the contract? Brother, you ain't gonna be my lawyer with 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 that with that Moorish foolishness, brother. <laughs> Talk about why you accept the contract. <laughs> you be sitting right in the cell talking about, I don't want to do business with you. <laughs> I'm not contracting with you. <laughs> Brother, you can leave that stuff over there. <laughs> daddy, daddy, why you ain't come home? Because I, I ain't contracting with them. <laughs> nah, bro. Nah, uh-uh. <laughs> Uh, uh, brother, you keep that over there. I'm all right, brother. You can keep your legal advice to yourself. I'm good, brother. Won't you drop something for for the for the for the uh for the, the for the legal fund? Do that. That if you want to help me, then I mean we gonna get the baristas for the baristas. That's what we gonna do. But what you talking about? I'm good on that one. <laughs> drop something to the legal fund. You want to help me out? <laughs> Come on, brother. Stop. I ain't contract with you. Take it back. <laughs> Come on, man. Stop, man. I don't, I, I don't follow that. I don't follow that train of thought, brother. I follow the train of thought that Prophet Noble Drew Ali had two attorneys. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just trying to get one arm retainer. That's the train of thought that I follow. You know what I'm saying? That's the train of thought that I follow. <laughs> Prophet Noble Drew Ali had two attorneys. I just need one arm retainer so I continue to teach the people the truth. That's it. Now, somebody say there are a number of so-called liberators who did not hold up the mission that claimed to hold up. <laughs> but for real, Prophet Noble Drew Ali had two attorneys. Why would I expect to do something different? And I follow the teachings of Prophet Noble Drew Ali. Hey, and guess what? Prophet Noble Drew Ali fared pretty well so they took him out you know what I mean but anyway so let me get to let me, oh I got two more I got two more I got two more cool, two more this one I like this one though I like this one hold up let me see if I can find them y'all gonna like this one too <laughs> y'all ready <laughs> Good one here. put a link for me bro put a link in for me talk oh, no, no, talk this is my man this is my man this is a this is one I kept for a while watch this guy here this guy, man, seemed like he's straight out the penitentiary. You know what I mean? I keep this stuff. I mean, are y'all ready? Watch this. All right, this is a good one here. This is another threat, though. I get these all the time. I get these all the time. Look. Sign Nobody in the conscious community, I dare any of y'all. Any, any of my revolutionaries in here, y'all send these links to all of their communities. Sign in the TV, Moore's World TV, anybody that you think is a conscious brother. And you, why are you so bad though? Watch it. You tell them about me. You tell them, hey, get this brother on. Get this brother on. This brother doing some real work in the community. I'm the only one standing up the gang members. These niggas scared of the state shadows and much less gang members. It's real talk, bro. You think these motherfuckers sit some white supremacy? They think go to jail and, and let the Aryans do whatever they want to about it. Fuck them. To Hawker, once again, I'll beat you to sleep. I don't even know this guy. Tahaka, I beat you to sleep. <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, bro. Listen, sis. Listen what this brother said. I'm telling you, I need an attorney, man. I need an attorney, man. Listen to that. They want to buy the fuck them. Tahaka, once again, I'll beat you to sleep. You want you want to talk to me, fam? I will come to where you at, nigga, by myself, nigga. And I don't feel you. I'll, I'll take a nap right in front of your house, nigga. He gonna take a nap in front of my house? I don't even know this guy. 
to hawk a big eye beat you to sleep. <laughs> like, why? What'd I do? <laughs> I don't even know this guy. Man. This is something I found on the internet. <laughs> I Google my name and I find all this stuff. I only know this guy. Hey, I got a couple more, man. I can do a part two because I got so many of them. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What is this? I, I laugh. <laughs> Let me do it again. You want to talk to me, fam? I will come to where you at, nigga, by myself, nigga. And I don't feel you. I'll, I'll take a nap right in front of your house, nigga. Why you want to sleep in front of my house? I tell you, man, mental illness is serious, family. Seriously, family. Mental Ill <laughs> Mental illness is a real thing, man. Look at that. I don't feel you, fam. I don't feel you no threat to me. Cause I, I don't threaten nobody. Man, hold on. Let me I gotta rewind this. this. Every time I hear this, it's funny to me. To all of the communities. Sign to the TV. Moore's World TV. Anybody that you think is a conscious brother. And you tell them about me. You tell them, hey, get this brother on. Get this brother on. This brother doing some real work in the community. I'm the only one standing up to gang members. These niggas scared of the state shadows and much less gang members. This real talk, bro. You think these motherfuckers sit some white supremacy? These niggas go to jail and, and let the Aryans do whatever they want to. He said you go to jail and let the Aryans do whatever you want. My brother, I'm not going to jail and messing with no Aryans, man. I'm not going to jail messing with the Bloods, the Crips, the BGF. I ain't going to jail to mess with nobody. Fam, I'm not going to jail if I can help it. <laughs> what is he talking about? <laughs> man, oh man. I don't I I don't know this guy. I really don't. This real talk, bro. You think these motherfuckers sit some white supremacy? They can go to jail and let the Aryans do whatever they want to, but fuck them. To Hawker, once again, I'll beat you to sleep. You want, you want to talk to me, fam? I will come to where you at, nigga, by myself, nigga. And I don't feel you. I'll, I'll take a nap right in front of your house, nigga. I don't feel you, fam. I, I don't feel you no threat to me. Because I know if you ever play with me, boy, that's going to be the end of you and anybody you care about, nigga. Don't play with me, fam. You're pissing me off. You a faker. Talk, baby. He said, he said I beat him off. Allah knows. I don't know this guy. He's sitting up there getting himself mad. <laughs> Anybody ever been in a relationship back in the day, uh, 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 a sister with a guy and a, maybe a guy with a sister or something, and they just talking and they get themselves worked up? <laughs> you just listen. Like, and the more you don't say nothing, they just get more worked up. <laughs> like, <laughs> this is my favorite. This is classic. Right in front of your house, nigga. I don't feel you, fam. I don't feel you no threat to me. Because I know if you ever play with me, boy, that's going to be the end of you and anybody you care about, nigga. Don't play with me, fam. You're pissing me off. You're fam. <laughs> You're peeing me off. Like, what? Who are you? Oh, my. Nigga, talk, babe. I'm on your bumper. I don't give a fuck. You're not right. Uh, yeah, I'm a bumper. Y'all know that song, Pull Up To My Bumper? Man, come on, man. Don't use them type of sink. Man, here we go. Mm-mm-mm. Time for the people, so you gotta go. I take all of your motherfucking followers and liberate them brothers. I don't mind if you're Islamic. I don't mind if you're Christian. I don't mind if, if, if you're Buddhist. No, I don't mind if you're non-denominational. I don't mind if you don't, if, 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 you know, if, if you're atheist. It, that don't matter to me. I wanna know, is you tired of white supremacy? I want to know, is you tired of, 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 of the filth going through our community? <laughs> Mustafa Salam said you spoke on something he didn't like. You probably create a monster without knowing. I think so. I created a bunch of Frankensteins on the internet. Oh, man. And if you're white, are you tired of being stepped on by the Wampusy? If you're Mexican, are you tired of being stepped on by big governments? Huh? Is you Asian? Is you tired of being harassed by white supremacists too? I'm saying. He want everybody to follow him. <laughs> oh my God, you can't make this stuff up. Let's link up. I want all of us to link up. Y'all my brothers and y'all my sisters now. Look at my story. 
when I started my young my young organization, a young man, when my brother told me, hey, we this, that, my brother just gave me the orders. They didn't come with me. I just went to the orders to the streets and did everything my goddamn self. So I just, I'm, I'm giving y'all the orders now. We finna, we finna ride. I'm still gonna be bringing some entertainment here, but I also got the Phil Cuff figure TV in on this, because I ain't gonna lie to y'all, this is my bread and butter, I'm a revolutionary. I really wanna ride on them all day. But I know y'all need some of this interesting uh, entertainment stuff, so I can get y'all here to the dinner table. I gotta put some pie and some cake and some sweets on there for y'all. But God damn it, it's gonna be some beats on now. <laughs> but God damn it, it's gonna be some beats on now. <laughs> I like that, I'm gonna sample that one. When I get my sample stuff back together, I'm gonna sample that one. Watch it. So I can get y'all here to the dinner table. I gotta put some pie and some cake and some sweets on there for y'all. But God damn it, it's gonna be some beets on now. It's gonna be some broccoli and some vegetables. That's revolution. It's good for you. God, man, mental illness is seriously bad. It's, it's gonna be some beets on there. It's gonna be some broccoli. Good, good, it's so great. I like this, brother, though. So I can get y'all here to the dinner table. I gotta put some pie and some cake and some sweets on there for y'all. But God damn it, it's gonna be some beets on now. It's gonna be some broccoli and some vegetables. That's revolution. It's good for you. Talk about I'm your worst nightmare, family. I want you to understand that. I agree. For the revolution, I will beat you to sleep. <laughs> and it's whatever you want to do. I'm, please invite me to your city. Any of you niggas invite me to y'all town, bro. Let me know when to come. We gotta let him know what the smoke. He got all this anger. Call we got King Watch, smash that like button. Get this to Taharka Bay at Morris World TV. You clown. <laughs> your people on your own page just stood up for me. You clown. You almost had a wreck. You mentioned Call Figure TV on my channel. That was the biggest thing. <laughs> Do y'all see what I gotta be up against? This is the stuff that I'm up against. Hey, family, I know y'all thought that. My claim to fame on Morse World TV was Moist Lips. Family, I just showed y'all, and I still got, re I got so many more. You know what I mean? This guy say he want to sleep in my yard, but he want an invitation. <laughs> That's right, Crip. <laughs> oh, man. This fool say I'm on your bumper. Nah, don't pull up to my bumper with the Grace Jones song. I ain't with none of that. Man, this is some crazy stuff, man. Hey, Ball Strucker, I know y'all thought that, hey, family, for real, I asked y'all a question, and I'm going to ask y'all again. Family, you ain't never seen nobody get this many threats, and I ain't even give them all out yet. I just gave the the, the most uh, funniest ones. You know what I mean? Look at this. Let me get my main man, then I'm going to get up out of here. I just got the most funniest ones and the most that seem to be. <laughs> hey, Brother Garfield, man, you got to go back and watch this, man. I bet you ain't getting more threats than me, Garfield. <laughs> Brother Garfield. <laughs> With some broccoli on it. Greens on it. Man, I'm going to play that one more time. I don't care what y'all do. Where you at? Where you at? I'm going to play that one more time. That's right. I'm going to play that one more time. I got to play that one more time. That was classic. I'm going to. Put a link for me, bro. Put a link in for me. Tahaka, Tahaka, Sinetta. Nobody in the conscious community. I dare any of y'all. Any, any of my revolutionaries in here, y'all send these links to all of the communities. Sinetta TV, Moore's World TV. Anybody that you think is a conscious brother, and you tell them about me, you tell them, hey, get this brother on. Get this brother on. This brother doing some real work in the community. I'm the only one standing up to gang members. These niggas scared of the state shadows of much less gang members. This real talk, bro. You think these motherfuckers sit some white supremacy? They think go to jail and, and let the Aryans do whatever they want to, brother. Fuck them. To Hawker, once again, I'll beat you to sleep. You want you want to talk to me, fam? I will come to where you at, nigga, by myself, nigga. And I don't feel you. I'll, I'll take a nap right in front of your house, nigga. I don't feel you, fam. I, I don't feel you no threat to me. Because I know if you ever play with me, boy, that's going to be the end of you and anybody you care about, nigga. Don't play with me, fam. You're pissing me off. You a faker. Talk about it. I'm on your bumper. I don't give a fuck. You're not riding for the people, so you gotta go. I take all of your motherfucking followers and liberate them brothers. I don't mind if you're Islamic. I don't mind if you're Christian. I don't mind if, if, if you're Buddhist. No, I don't mind if you're non-denominational. I don't mind if you don't, if, if, you know, if, if you atheist. It that don't matter to me. I wanna know, is you tired of white supremacy? I wanna know, is you tired of, 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 of the filth going through our communities? And if you're white, are you tired of being stepped on by the wampusy? If you're Mexican, are you tired of being stepped on by big governments? Huh? Is you Asian? 
Is you tired of being harassed by white supremacists too? I'm saying let's link up. I want all of us to link up. Y'all my brothers and y'all my sisters now. Re look at my story. When I started my young my young organization, that young man, when my brother told me, hey, we this, that, my brother just gave me the orders. They didn't come with me. I just went to the orders to the streets and did them thing my goddamn self. So I just, I'm, I'm giving y'all the orders now. We finna, we finna ride. I'm still gonna be bringing some entertainment here, but I also got the Phil Cuff figure TV in on this, because I ain't gonna lie to y'all, this is my bread and butter, I'm a revolutionary. I really wanna ride on them all day. But I know y'all need some of this interesting uh, entertainment stuff so I can get y'all here to the dinner table. I gotta put some pie and some cake and some sweets on there for y'all. But God damn it, it's gonna be some beets on now. It's gonna be some broccoli. There's some vegetables. That's revolution. It's good for you. Talk about you. I'm your worst nightmare, family. I want you to understand that. For the revolution, I will beat you to sleep. And it's whatever you want to do. I'm, please invite me to your city. Any of you niggas invite me to y'all town, bro. Let me know when to come. And I'm on the first thing smoking. Cut figure king while I smash that <laughs> Man, you can't make this stuff up, man. <laughs> you cannot make this stuff up, man. This is insane. This is insane, man. And, and look, look, you know the funny part about it, right? Let me explain something to y'all. Family, if you don't know, I live in Baltimore City. I don't bother nobody. Nobody bothers me. But Baltimore City is a pretty dangerous place. Baltimore City is I'm thinking like 80 to 85 percent us and it's a very violent city I'm talking about real violent city um it's super violent city Baltimore why would one think threatening me on the internet would make me feel some type of way when we walk out the door when we live in Baltimore, you never know what to expect because violence, it's really, really heavy. I don't live in Baltimore County. I live in the city. I travel throughout the city. I don't know why people be threatening as if I'm an internet face when in fact, I'm in one of the dangerous cities in the United States. And that's why you would never hear me threaten nobody. You would never hear me talk tough to nobody. Because this is one of them cities where it ain't a whole bunch of talking going on. Like, it's a, it's a guy. It's a guy from the city. He's not from the city. He lives in the county. And he got an internet. He had a, a YouTube channel. And he was talking real spicy. I walked up on them and I don't want, I don't want nobody to leave their family or get taken away from their family. But all that spicy he was talking to, talking about if I wasn't, if I wasn't in my right mind, that could have been his last day. You know what I'm saying? Tyra Mill, you say, move out. Why are you there? I don't feel, I don't feel, I don't have no fear of being in Baltimore, uh, uh, Tyra Williams, Tara Williams. I love Baltimore. I love Baltimore because it makes people be real. That's right. You would never see people like that in Baltimore just talking. They won't talk long. I like it because you get what you get in Baltimore. You ain't got to figure out what's going on in Baltimore. You're going to get what you get. You ain't got to figure nothing out. If it's gangster, it's gangster. If it's corporate, it's corporate. If it's working, it's working. If it's hustle working, it's hustle working. If it's hustling in the street, it's, you get what you get. You ain't got to figure it out. That's why I love, man, and, and if you haven't been in a place where it's almost 100% of people that look like you, then you wouldn't understand. The mailman is us. Like, I was, at, I was at Family Dollar today. The guy had tattoos all over his face. Dollar signs, mouth full of gold teeth. It, it, I mean, hey, if, if you're from a place where it's 50-50 or 35, 
uh, 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 35, 65, uh, uh, you wouldn't really understand. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, you go wherever you go. The male lady might got red hair. The la- the male lady might got blue hair. Might got. Re- I mean, everybody is themselves. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's right. The 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 the. the it's it's so crazy though. On the flip side of it, I mean, on the flip side of it, the 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 the, the police look like the dope boy. Yeah, I remember one day I got in an accident and. Man, these people come looking in my car out of the blue. I'm like, yo, why are you up in my car? What you doing? They go into their shirt, pull out the uh, the joint around their neck, got badges. They look like they was about to uh, carjack me. They look just like the D-Boys. Real talk. I'm talking about pants sagging, dusty as ever, like they've been grinding for three days with no sleep. They was the police. Yeah. So, so in Baltimore, it's just real, real different. But the thing is, you get what you got. You don't got to figure out in Baltimore. I don't know if the doc up in here, but he'll tell you, you ain't got to figure out Baltimore. If you go into Annapolis, Maryland, you may not be sure. Like is, uh, If you go out into PG County, again, you might not be sure. Howard County, Baltimore County, you might. In Baltimore City, oh, you know what you're getting. And that's what I like. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel, I don't feel, um, <laughs> look, somebody say smoking fugs. <laughs> see, you see, he from Baltimore. He from the city. <laughs> he from the city. Smoking fugs. That's a Baltimore thing. You see, you wouldn't understand. That's a Baltimore thing. <laughs> smoking fugs. <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> but the thing is, is that, um, even even my wife, like she's very comfortable in the city, you know what I mean. She she moved in and out the city, and I ain't talking about uh, uh, the outskirts. You know what I mean, I mean every everywhere you go is us, and you would have to experience it to understand. Everywhere you go, the mayor is us. The majority of the police is us. Um, now you got some of those cowboys out there, but majority of them look like us. You know what I mean. The school teaches us, us the, the, I mean, it's whatever. It's whatever. Baltimore is a beautiful, beautiful place. Beautiful, beautiful place. But it's violent. It's definitely violent. But once you live here, you know how to move. You know how to move. It's, 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 it's definitely a violent, hostile environment, but you know how to move. I mean, I love Baltimore. I don't think I'm ever going to leave, actually. Because, I mean, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I mean, it's nothing but love. I mean, I don't see no reason to. But let me get to my last one. Oh, family, here we got to go. Oh, my goodness. Here's your man. Here's your man. Only time I leave is when I retire to the Moorish Village in a secret location. Out west. Here's your man. Good night. There you go. That's the most recent to the edition of Exposing the Frauds. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's the prophet. <laughs> That's the prophet of Amen. Now, y'all remember the prophet of Amen, Brother Newman, he came on the show because he disagreed with my position of him being an American Indian. It spiraled out of control because he took that argument and wanted to debate Prophet Noble Drew Ali. I honored him with that conversation, but he never gave me my conversation. He disrespected Prophet Noble Drew Ali, disrespected myself. And so I began to research him. As always, when someone get crazy mad, normally when I research them, I will find out that they're not right. And that's what happened. I researched him and found out he wasn't right. And we're going to do a series on him nonstop. But in this series that we're doing on him to expose 
the fraudulent behavior. I don't know how it got to the point where as though we was talking about him not being native to the Americas. He switched it and won a debate. Prophet Noble Drew, I think everybody know that, you know, if they start talking about the prophet, then all, I'm ready I'm ready to debate the scholarship because I've been fed up with the misinformation and the disinformation about Prophet Noble Drew Ali. They got Prophet Noble Drew Ali like some mystical figure. They got Prophet Noble Drew Ali like some charlatan. They got Prophet Noble Drew Ali like some weird religious figure. And I know that's not to be true. You know what I mean? I know that's not to be true. Um, they got him, they got people walking around with, with curly up shoes in the front talking about they more People talking about they got a right to travel because they're Moorish. People talking about they sovereign because they Moors. People talking about all of this crazy stuff and they attribute it to Prophet Noble Drew Ali. So normally when someone says something that's out of order about Prophet Noble Drew Ali, I want to correct it. You know what I'm saying? Because I know that they don't know what they're talking about. I know I know my wife ain't trying to get the right to travel. I know my wife ain't trying to sell her birth certificate. She ain't trying to sell the children birth certificate and get some redemption of a million dollars for each certificate. I mean, I wish they would, wish somebody would, but that ain't that's that's not the case. But whatever the case may be, whatever the case may be, he challenged me to discuss the legitimacy of Prophet Noble Drali. And he failed horribly. Y'all remember, he pulled up the wiki thing and he just failed horribly. So when he didn't want to come on the show to talk about him being indigenous or Native American or American Indian, then I began to look at his spiritual system and come to find out he was the spiritual system. And I didn't disrespect him on that first show. I didn't even go into nothing. I just went into his background just a little bit as it relates to the spiritual system in which he instructs people into. And Lord and Lord, did it make him mad. Look what it did. Did it make him mad. I'm going to tell you something right now. You lit a fucking fire that's never going to go out, bitch. I swear. You wait till tomorrow's show and my lawyer's going to be on your ass. You 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 get this lying <laughs> to start li telling lies on me. You lit a fire, little nigga. That ain't gonna go out now. You fucked up. You know, fucked up. You sitting up here I'm trying to look. <laughs> That's how Tariq said to you, nigga. You finished. You done. You were fucking done. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something right now. You lit a fucking fire that's never gonna go out, bitch. I swear. You wait this till the tomorrow's prophet. show and my lawyer's gonna be on your ass. You 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 get this lying <laughs> to start li telling lies on me. You lit a fire, little nigga. That ain't gonna go out now. You fucked up. You know, fucked up. You sitting up here I'm trying to look. <laughs> That's how Tariq said to you, nigga. You finished. You done. You were fucking done. Do y'all see what I'm up against, man? Y'all see what I'm up against, man? I'm telling you, I better retain me an attorney, man. I'm telling you. I mean, did you, did, how many of y'all really enjoy Morse World TV, man? How many of y'all really enjoy Morse World TV? Press seven. If we're going to keep this going, I'm trying to tell you, we're going to need help. <laughs> you like the remix? I'm going to tell you something right now. You lit a fucking fire that's never going to go out, bitch. I swear. You wait. <laughs> this is the prophet of uh, Robin. <laughs> this is the prophet of Robin. This is the ramen noodle prophet. Ramen, the god ramen. <laughs> he ain't selling wolf tickets. <laughs> That's a, this a, he, he, follow, he the prophet of the god ramen. He the ramen noodle prophet. For real. <laughs> Oh, oh, Abu X, you ain't heard nothing yet. Oh, and my lawyer's gonna be on your ass. <laughs> you, 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 you get this lying <laughs> to start li telling lies on me. You lit a fire, little nigga. That ain't gonna go out now. You fucked up. You know, fucked up. You, uh, uh, you, uh, uh. <laughs> I'm very creative. Look at that. Who is that? That ain't gonna go out now. You fucked up. You know, fucked up. <laughs> That man got gout and everything gonna beat me up. You sitting up here I'm trying to look. <laughs> That's how Tariq said to you, nigga, you finished. You done. You were fucking done. <laughs> that prophet is mad as ever. 
He's super bad. But look, this is the one I really like. When he break it down in the Hey, the author, Toronto Johnson. Hey, buddy. You did an excellent job with that lion ass chick you had on there two months in the community. You really a joke, man. I thank you for that. Thank you for letting the world know because I'm going to expose the hell out myself tomorrow. So get ready for it. And I would say he exposed himself. You heard what he just said? I thank you for that. Thank you for letting the world know because I'm going to expose the hell out myself tomorrow. <laughs> he going to expose himself tomorrow. <laughs> so get ready for it. And your Listen black up. ass. So yeah, nigga, do what you gotta do, and but you let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Buddy. Before you go down this path, Hawk, let me warn you about something. I got lawyers. You can you can say all the stuff you want as long as it's true, because I'm gonna give up everything on myself. I never hate nothing about myself, you see, but I got stuff on you. But I ain't, I didn't I didn't go into your personal stuff. But it's okay. All I did was focus on your fake profit and the, uh, on the on the fallacy of moral science. That's all I did in that little thing. I didn't get personal with you. But since you want to go down this road, let's go. I'm going to expose myself. The whole Scott Anthony thing. This is how he said, I'm going to expose myself. The whole Scott Anthony thing. His name is Scott Anthony. What is the Scott Anthony thing? Y'all pay attention to this. People tell on themselves. I told you he gives the signs like he, he not who he say he is. Listen to this. I'm gonna go down this road. Let's go. I'm gonna expose myself. The whole Scott Anthony thing to becoming new to Minkari. I ain't got nothing to hide. The Scott Anthony thing to becoming new to Minkari. That's just like me saying I'm expose myself. The Toronto Johnson thing. The Toronto Johnson thing. Make you go. Hmm. Make you see, man. I be treading deadly waters, man. We be messing with them people too much. We plan to go fire. down this road. Let's go. I'm expose myself. The whole Scott Anthony thing to becoming new to Minkari. I ain't got nothing to hide. So bring it out, cause I'm a bring. Man, we be treading in some deep waters and don't even know it. We don't even know who we up against, man. Get out tomorrow, 6 p.m., brother. 6 p.m. Be there, and I'm gonna mention your black ass and that lying bitch that you had on. You. Who was in this community a whole two months, and I'm not, and I'm taking the gloves off now. Since you want to play that game, and I'm <laughs> content out of me, try me, try me. Please do it. Please, please do all your research. Bring it all. Thank you for you. Thank you really for you know how nigga. You know how long I've been around. I've been around. You done fucked up, major. You fucked up. Please bring it out. I'm not in New York no more. So think about that. But you know what? Stop. Please bring it out. I'm not in New York no more. So think about that. But you know what? Y'all hear that? I'm not in New York no more. So think about that. These people crazy, man. Listen, I need security. Stop. Please bring it out. I'm not in New York no more. So think about that. But you know what? You know what? And I hope you play this. I hope you play this. Play with me and, if you and, want. And see if I'm playing. But I'm going to go expose myself tomorrow at 6. And you can play this recording on Morris World TV. You can cut it up every way the fuck. See, he gave me permission to play this. You want to cut it up? Cut it up. Show Jamila it. Because, again, I'm going to expose her to her lying ass. And I got receipts. She can go get all the lying females she can get. I don't give a shit. You see? Because I'm a head so family, with that being said, I would hope that you would support the MWTV <laughs> legal fund. And 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 and, and R&B Garvey heard that with his baby crying in the background. You caught that? I added the music. I didn't add it to crying. I added the music, but I did not add it to crying. Ain't that something? Ain't that something? Shh. Ain't that something? That's crazy. That's crazy. So family. Hold up. If you're able to support, the link is here. Cryptonomics just put the link. So I got it down to 
where where you can just do five dollars. Anything you can help. With. I mean, if you enjoy if you enjoy Morris World TV, if you're just a uh, if you're just a um a, 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 a spectator, that's understandable too. Just share for me. You know what I mean? And maybe somebody else. If you are unable to, then yeah, of course, just share for me. Um, but it but you could do five. Hold up. Five. And you know, you could do two for five, or you know what I mean, get you to ten or I mean, ten dollars, twenty five, whatever. Whatever you can help with, family, um, will be greatly appreciated. Um, because at the end of the day, there is no doubt whatsoever that if I do not have a, a lawyer on retainer, ah, it's going to be a little sticky situation in, in, in pushing this information the way that we've been pushing it. You know what I mean? It's going to be kind of sticky. It's going to be real tough. You know what I mean? I have to find a way to navigate around it or something, but it's going to be real tough. It's, you know I mean, hey, hey, it is what it is. Hey, and I ain't, hey, listen, I ain't the one to, to, to be faking and funking with you. I'm telling you the truth. I mean, I ain't throwing rocks at no penitentiary. I don't think that we are organized enough to fight this beast and, and, and be victorious in, in any way, shape, or form besides having some sort of uh, uh, somebody that know they way around the courtroom that can hold you down um, until better days. That's only, I mean, that's your only option. That ain't even guaranteed. That ain't even guaranteed, but, you know, um, but I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Again, family, my birthday is tomorrow. I'm going to be a half, a hundred plus something. And uh, I appreciate all your support. Uh, anybody who sent the cash app, I appreciate you. Um, but I'm telling you, I know times is tough out here. So so don't don't go empty your bank account too fast. But I'm going to try to tell you, family, uh, I just need to make it home to my babies after these shows. That's it. But with that being said, peace and love. I will see you on, I guess I see you on Saturday. I see you on Saturday. Um, but we probably still have uh, some some good shows uh, coming up. Uh, I, did a, I did some pre-recording shows that I did at a barbershop that I'm probably going to upload. But we're going out the bar now. You know what I mean? Man, listen, I need everybody to share this. Uh, so everybody, if they want to support, they're able to support. Hey, fam, how y'all like the studio, though? How y'all like the studio, though? Are y'all feeling the studio? Huh? See, I'm going to tell you what I'm doing. I'm getting ready for, um, there's some more work I got to do, but I'm getting ready for the change. You know, um, YouTube, I'm going to take the Showtime sign down and get me a picture. But YouTube is actually um, changing the game, you know. And, um, you know, in order to compete and be heard and seen, I think you just going to have to uh, be creative. So I just change. I change up my set uh, every six months. Seem like it for real, though. But this is real comfortable for me now. You know what I mean? Thank you, Ephraim Colin. Thank you, everybody, for the birthday wishes. But this is real comfortable for me now. I'm going to get me a better chair. I'm going to get me a king's chair. I seen the guy with a podcast. He had a king's chair with wings on that joint. I said, God, God is a crazy. But, it's, but, it, but, but, the, but, but his video was kind of blurry. I was like, he paid for more, more for the chair than the camera. He said it took the money. He said he got bread, though. But I'm like, bro, the chair had wings on that demonstration. It was tall. He had wings on the side of that joint. I was like, good goodness gracious. But his his video was a little bit grainy. I'm like, bro. <laughs> but I'm going I'm to get me a chair one day. All right. I got me I got me an office chair, but I'm going to get me a comfortable chair. I got one right now. I got it from, <laughs> yeah, he got thrown. All right. I think I got this chair from, um, I think I got this chair from uh, a Goodwill. <laughs> I ain't lying to you. My buddy funny chain strange and shoes got the blues. I think I grabbed this job for goodwill. All right. Let me tell my wife, steam that thing up. Throw it on up in the, in the studio. Steam it up. <laughs> steam that demonstration up. We'll put that up in the studio now. <laughs> I ain't steaming nothing. Shoot. Stop being so cheap. <laughs> Girl, you better steam that thing up. 
Thank you, Bowers. Brother Bowers. Oh, let me show Brother Bowers something real quick. Let me see. I thought I just. Okay, let me see what I do. This is it. Let me show you something real quick. Is that it? Let me see. Mm. Oh, man, I thought I just. I wanted to show something else. Hold up. So anybody who's Moorish American in here, we're going to have everything on the website soon. You know what I mean? <laughs> Look, we're going to have everything on the website soon for Moorish Americans, right? I mean, this is on my website, but it's going to be on the Temple website too, man. We got a lot of stuff coming. Um, so so if you go to the website and make a donation, I it don't 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 be browbeat because we're not finished yet. You know what I mean? Uh-oh, Pisces in the building. Perfect pie. All right. But anyway, family, peace and love, family. I appreciate you. Um, And I'm going to see you real soon. I might do a daytime show. I might come on tomorrow in the daytime because I'll be missing. I'll be missing talking to y'all, for real. That's why I'll be going so late sometimes because I like run my mouth. And I like to read the chat, too. You know what I mean? I got this new setup where I can see the chat. I can read the chat right here. You know what I mean? Talk, talk some good stuff. Um, but yeah, Bowers L, go check on the site. Go to, I think it's called Noble Noble Market or something, the tab Noble Market, and you'll see. We'll, I'm going to be uploading stuff there every day. It's a lot of Moorish stuff, but I'm going to be uploading some of the shirts that I wear soon. I'm going to be uploading, and I hope people just support. I mean, so you running around causing stuff. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> <laughs> what you talking about, Judy Scott? <laughs> let, me, let me send let me send my cash out to Judy Scott since she wanna browbeat me. Now I'm just playing. But anyway, I'm gonna put it in there though for real, just in case anybody wants to be friends to the grand sheet. But I appreciate all that y'all do. You know what I mean? Y'all do y'all y'all do y'all do the most. Y'all be sharing. Y'all make sure that 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 this message get out. And that's why I probably in so much mess now. Because y'all the one that share this and everybody see it. And that's why I'm, that's why I'm getting all these threats. It's y'all fault. It ain't my fault. I mean, if the channel was a graveyard, wouldn't nobody would know what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? It's y'all fault. For real, for real. Now I'm blaming y'all. It's like, thank you for the shares. Thank you for the likes. And thank you for the comments. Don't forget to comment once the show is down. Because when you comment, it helps the show also. Also, a lot of haters come in after the show and they like to comment. You know what I mean? But it's y'all fault. That's right. Y'all share and y'all like the show. And and, and see, if y'all wasn't doing that, wouldn't even nobody know I was over here talking. You got graveyard channels that talk the same stuff. <laughs> Abu X said, go for a run or walk, GS, on me. I'm going to pass on that. Thank you so much for the cash. I don't be naming too many names on Cash App because I don't like to put people on blast. But, oh, I'm, I'm calling out the original peoples. I mean, I'm calling out the original peoples. Salute, original peoples. That's my guy. I don't see him in the chat today. But let me get out of here, fam. I'm talking too much. I might go live tomorrow during the daytime because I probably won't do nothing tomorrow. I say that, but I, I ain't that type. I got to work. I got to do something. But peace and love. Thank you, original people. My guy, peace and love, family. I will see y'all tomorrow in the daytime. I might just be somewhere and just go live. I'm Oh, I'm, I might go see my brother, Dr. Asar, then go have lunch with Dr. Asar and debate with him about cults tomorrow. That's what I might do. I might go have lunch with Dr. Asar and debate him about cults because I ain't got nothing better to do. That's what I might do. You know what I mean? <laughs> 